Hi guys, this is BB Chess channel. Today we'll see a game between Grandmaster from Azerbaijan, Shakriya Mamedyarov, playing against Dutch Grandmaster Dimitri Reinderman. The game was played on 6th Free European Individual Championship in Warsaw in 2005. This is around one. I decided to show you this game as there is a very weird and interesting story behind the game. Mamedyarov white, Reinderman black. Let's have a look. Mamedyarov starts with d4, f5, Dutch defense, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, castles, castles, and b3. Reinderman plays d6, bishop to b2, queen to e8, c4, and knight to g4. And this is inaccuracy, as better was, for example, c6 or just simply developing your pieces. h3, knight going back to h6, knight to c3, e5 attacking the center, so d takes on e5, d takes on e5, and e4. And black, f4. And this is another inaccuracy, as better was, for example, c6, then bishop to a3 attacking the rook, rook to f7, queen to e2, knight to a6, rook a to d1, f4, knight to a4, b5, and c takes on b5. And white is a bit better, but it's still playable. In the game, after f4, White plays knight to d5, creating a great outpost for the knight. So black plays knight to a6, g takes on f4, and c6 attacking the knight. And the most natural move would be to move your knight back to e3 or to c3, but Mamedyarov takes on e5. So c takes on d5, e takes on d5, and b5 attacking the c4 pawn. And what was the plan? Mamedyarov gave up the knight, for three pawns as white's got seven pawns against four on black side and the white is okay in the game rook to e1 b takes on c4 b takes on c4 and rook to f4 attacking the pawn so queen to c1 defending the pawn and also attacking the rook queen to f8 defending the rook and e6 bishop takes on b2 queen takes on b2 and knight to f5, rook a to d1, and knight to c5. And look at the position now, white's got three pawns in the center, protected by rook, and it's so hard to defend this plane as black, and the white is much better. White plays knight to e5, and this is inaccuracy, as better was for example e7, just attacking the queen, then knight takes on e7, d6, attacking your knight, knight to d5, knight to g5 attacking the knight and also the rook so you have to move your knight as then it might be taken by bishop with check and then you can grab the rook as well so knight to f6 and the bishop takes on a8 h6 kicking the knight and first bishop d5 check so knight takes on d5 rook takes on d5 pawn takes on g5 and rook takes on c5 and the white is much better in the game, after knight to e5, black plays bishop to b7, and now your bishop is under attack and it's protected by your knight from c5, so white plays knight to d7, attacking the queen and also attacking the knight, so knight takes on d7, e takes on d7, and rook to b8 defending the bishop. And Mamedyarov plays d6, and this is not the best move. Better was, for example, Queen to e5, attacking the rook, knight to d6, c5, attacking the knight, rook to d8, attacking pawn on d7, c6, protecting the pawn and also attacking the bishop on b7, bishop to a6, queen to e6, check, rook f7 blocks, queen to e3, going after a7 pawn, bishop to d5, and queen takes a7, and white's winning. Black plays knight takes on d6, rook takes on d6, queen takes on d6, bishop takes on b7. And black plays rook f to f8. And this is a mistake. 
but it doesn't really matter because black's already lost. And Mamediarov plays rook to e8 and the game is over. After this move white won but I couldn't find any information if black resigned or lost on time. And now this is beginning of the quite weird story. First of all white's not winning after rook to e8 as this giving up the very strong pawn on d7. For example rook takes, pawn takes, getting another queen, rook takes and the position is equal. Or you can grab the pawn and then rook takes, rook takes and that's the same story. After rook f to f8 you should play rook to e7 and this is winning. Then queen takes on e7 as this threatening checkmate on g7. And then bishop to d5 check you need to block this by your rook. So rook to f7 and queen takes rook on b8 check. King g7, bishop takes on f7 and queen takes on d7. As if you'd grab the bishop then white would get another queen to the game and the game is lost. So after taking the pawn, then bishop to d5 and the game is over. I also found very interesting comment about this game on the Telegraph website, which is a British daily newspaper. Malcolm Pin, British journalist, wrote, I suspect the tournament bulletin is wrong and that the game actually ended after rook e7. I will add the link to the description below, so let's have a look. But Mamed Yarov won anyway. Um, thank you for watching, if you like the content of this video please subscribe my channel and feel free to leave some comments below. Bye now!